Okay. Should I actually turn the light off? <laughs> Ignore the fact that you guys are lopsided. So, I need you guys to understand that it's really cold where I am because I forgot to lock my I forgot to close my window. There are no clouds in the sky, which makes it colder. So I I I thought my best bet was just to fucking put on my thickest woolen sweater that I actually stole from my father. If you've seen the title, I wanted to do this and not because I necessarily <laughs> want to be like, I'm so different, but just because I, I like I like talking about it and I thought, you know, gives you an opportunity to get to know me a little better. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I want to talk about some of my favorite, favorite, favorite records or vinyls, whatever you want to call it. Because <clears throat> these ones have a story behind it and I really want to tell it because I think they're so fun. Or like, not fun, but like, I think they're cute. Whatever. So, <laughs> we're gonna jump right in. We're gonna jump right in. <laughs> gonna jump right in with Caribou by Elton John and this is a vintage vinyl that I found in a record shop and the story behind this first off it's a great album I love it it's uh it got some great songs on it if you listen to it on Spotify it has um pinball wizard this one doesn't but I think it's because it was added later I'm not 100% sure don't quote me on it also many of these are Elton John don't worry about it story i was at a mall with my friends one of my best friends or two of my best friends so like i'm okay i was at the mall with friends and we went and i found this or my friend actually found it first but she i don't remember why but she didn't buy it and it was so cheap like it was on clearance it was on sale like i got this for like 20 dollars, i think and usually like they're really expensive where I'm from. So I was so happy. And then I was like, and then I told my friend that this was the one that Pinball Wizard was on. And then I looked at the back and it's not here. So she wasn't really sad about it, but I think she actually bought another one, which is why she couldn't buy this one. Cause she couldn't afford it. But I'm so happy that I bought it. And I, I like, I love it. Like, I think it's like so cool how it looks a little bit worn as well. So I love this one. And to give you guys Another fun story about the same friend. I'm gonna do this, okay. So this, uh, it's uh, the Pink Floyd album. I don't remember what it's called, don't, don't bully me. But the reason I have this is because I, my friend, we were at her house, the same friend that didn't buy the Caribou album. We were at her place and we were like listening to music on like a record. And we like, we listened to a bunch of different Elton John songs and then she put on this album and it was beautiful and we just listened to it while like we ate, I think we ate spaghetti or something. And we just like, were like just having a good time and I remember it so vividly so I was like, I want this album. And I don't remember if I got the album from her or if I actually found it at home because we had like a bunch of diff uh, old records that we got from my grandmother who passed away. And I remember I just was like, I need this because it reminds me of her so much and I love just listening to it and like, just like thinking of that day because it was just like, it wasn't anything special, but it just stuck with me, you know? I don't know if you guys have had that before, but it was so like, it was just like a pure moment. So I just wanted it to be reminded of her actually and I have the same album but I couldn't find like the the like this is just like the out like the cover album like the record and itself I couldn't find it so I have another one which I have framed where I couldn't find the record in itself so another fun story about this friend um we've been friends for a long time and I remember I told because one of my all-time favorite albums ever is Empty Sky by Elton John. I've wanted that. Like, I I think, like, I think that's one of my all-time favorite albums. Like, I never get sick of it. I can listen to it whenever, wherever. It will almost, almost make me cry because I love it so much. I don't know why. The music is just beautiful and just, like, everything. And... 
and I fell in love with it. And then I, for Christmas in 2019, I think I wanted it for Christmas. I can't remember, but I do think that it was on my wish list. And my friend and another friend got me the album. And my dream is to get it signed by Elton John, because that would be beautiful. I love this album with my entire being. And when I got it, I actually cried. I can see if I can find the, I don't think I have the video, but I have a picture where I'm like hugging it because like it meant so much to me and it still does. So I cried when I got it because I just love it so much. And there's something about having like a physical copy of like my favorite albums that I just love. So if I like an album enough, I wanted to get it as a physical form so that I can touch it, if that makes sense. Like, is that weird? I don't know, but I just, ugh, it just meant so much to me. So I feel like I have good memories to this one as well. To give you guys a little bit of a break from uh, Elton John, I have this album. I don't remember how I came across this artist, the album. I don't remember anything. I just remember suddenly that I only listened to this album. And it is Six Feet Beneath the Moon by King Cruel. I don't know how you say his last name, but I love it. It makes me so emotional and I I have no, I like, I can't, I think I found Easy Easy. I don't remember how I came across Easy Easy, but I remember I was just like, this album just did something to me. And then I wanted it for Christmas. I think I got it in 2018, I think. I absolutely adore this album. Another album that I can just listen to all the fucking time because it's just, it's beautiful and it gives you like a bunch of different songs. Uh, my favorite song from this is either uh, Baby Blue or Borderline, but there's so many good ones. I also like Neptune Estate. I would, like, I don't know how to explain his music either because it's not necessarily a genre that I listen to a lot but it's so good and it makes me feel like I'm floating in outer space like I don't know there's this there's this special feeling that this album gives me so if you want to if you want to test it it's six feet beneath the moon king cruel and the last last but not least we have we have another al al album by Elton John again I really like Elton John and I was supposed to go, oh my god, story time! I was supposed to go uh, to his concert in, in May, but I had pneumonia so I couldn't go. I'm gonna add in a clip here of what I sounded like and what I would have sounded like if I went. All in the blues, time on my hands, could be time spent with- But, Honky Chateau by Elton John is, I think, one of the first albums I've ever heard by Elton John. I'm not gonna sit here and say that with a like a actual like factual like that's the first one I heard. But in a sense of like obviously I'd heard Rocket Men before I just didn't know who sang it and like some of Elton John's most popular songs are actually songs that I don't really like that much which is why I think it took me a long time to actually get into him because like obviously my family like listened to him when I was younger and stuff but I never made the connection because I just didn't like his most popular songs but this album is special because it has a song <laughs> called I think I'm gonna kill myself and when I started listening to Elton John, I listened to like, obviously the ones I knew. I had seen Rocket Man, the movie. So I listened to those songs. And then I went to this album specifically, saw the song, I think I'm gonna kill myself and went, yes. And I listened to it. And this became like one of my, like one of the first albums that I listened to, like on my own, completely unprovoked by Elton John songs are like I think I'm gonna kill myself because it's just so fun it has a weird vibe to it but I would like recommend listening to it because it's actually kind of like I think it's like it's a good song it has some good parts and I like the one part I'm not gonna play it because I'm afraid of copyright I've been copyright striked twice which terrifies me so I've just been like okay I'm not gonna do that again 
so this is also like the like the, I think that's why I like it because it just reminds me of like the first time that I listened to Elton John on my own and like found which songs of his that I liked on my own without like anyone telling me hey you should listen to these or like because I never because usually if you get into like a new artist you would kind of like maybe go to their like Spotify or Apple Music whatever and like shuffle play their music maybe but like I went into his like for some reason Honky Chateau I went on to that album played I think I'm gonna kill myself and went mm-hmm this is my new favorite artist I have uh, more records but um, a lot of them are not necessarily from my tumblr era but um, a lot of, like I have a lot of them and I if I if you want a record collection video then I can do that sure but like those are my favorite like out of all like if I am ever asked to play something on like a record player those are my go-to's so these are some great albums that we should definitely listen to oh my god also ooh, my favorite song from this is um have a cigar <laughs> I don't I don't know why but I just listen to it and then I I listen to have a cigar I was like this one's cool I think that's what really sold me with that one so yeah those are my favorite records and the stories behind them <laughs> I don't know like um if you're wondering like why my content is very different from each time that I post it's because I don't necessarily want to um, I just want to make videos with what I want, you know, and I didn't want to make a critique or as I like to call them, I hate everything videos because I don't know, I was in a good mood. I was finally in a good mood after being in like a depressive state for like and a week straight. So I was like, I want to talk about something that I like. So that's what I ended up doing. <laughs> but yeah, so that's why and also because I'm home alone so I was like I probably should record something now so that I don't have to sit on Tuesday and be like I'm never home alone but yeah I see we're up to fucking 46 subscribers not to be one of those people but we went from 44 to 46 so thank you guys for subscribing I hope more people will subscribe because I'm I'm so like I love doing these videos and I love like talking about things so like it's pretty fun to like see people liking my videos and stuff and it makes me so happy so <laughs> again if you want to subscribe then please subscribe and if you want to like the video please like the video please just do whatever you want really I'm not pressuring you just do whatever. Okay? <laughs> Great. <laughs>